Hey, so some of you guys know that my husband and I ran our own business for 10 years. Long time. Um, we would travel to different states. We lived in Henderson, Nevada, and we would travel to different states and pick up the freshest fruit and bring it home and distribute it to our lovely friends, neighbors, and customers. And last winter, January 2022, um, we started, like, business, business was like booming, relatively, you know, um, and we were like, yo, you know what would be more fun than, than doing this out of a trailer two days a week? If we had our own storefront, that would be way more fun. So we started looking into um, different storefronts and I had, oh, I wonder if it's around. Oh, I think it's in the room. I got a notebook and I started writing all the different things I wanted to put in my, my new store. And it was gonna be a general store like unto the general store that Matthew Cuthbert goes into in Anakin and Gables when he is so nervous because he wants to buy Anne the, the fabric to make a puff sleeve gown. Um, and he's so nervous um, that he ends up ordering like too much brown sugar. I don't know if you guys have seen that movie or not, but it's my favorite. Anyway, um, I, I wanted that kind of store. I wanted there to be like, you know, your bulk brown sugar and um, your, you know, awesome fruits and vegetables. And I wanted um, a gardening section with seeds and a rake, like Matthew Cuthbert. Um, and then I wanted, uh, I wanted a section of specialty house-made ice cream. Ah! And we really wanted to do donuts, but better than donuts, we wanted to do scones, not regular scones. Utah scones. <laughs> um, this is my sorry attempt at scone making today. I'd, I'd never made them before, but I knew that that was what I wanted more than anything was to have this store with the fruit, the, I even wanted fabric at my general store. You guys, I was going, I was like deep in, I had a whole like false front like image in my mind. I wanted a logo. I knew exactly what I wanted it to say and look like. Um, and it was like, you know, I, I had the vision. Um, so, uh, we went and we toured stores and we found one and it was like, perfect. This is it. It's a little bigger than we wanted, but we could like do like, you know, fruit slash tractor supply store and still keep my general store idea and do all the things. And I was really, really excited and it didn't pan out and I couldn't figure out why couldn't figure out why for the longest time um and like months I was like why like that should have worked we had um we had a good business model we had like the funding um we had the passion for it and we couldn't I couldn't figure out like it just didn't pan out and I was like down about it for a long time and sometimes it still hits me and I am still down about it it was like whoa um you know it's like it it was like my dream this was like a dream a huge dream and it was coming true and right before I grabbed it it like disappeared um uh, my phone's about to die. Hang on. Okay, I'm back. I really hope I don't lose that other part of the video that I made. Um, anyway, so it, it, it was like a dream of mine that was like, you know, you're running for the, for the finish line and right before you cross the finish line, somebody smokes ya. Um, it's like that feeling. <laughs> it was not a fun feeling and I couldn't figure out, like I said, for months. Um, why it didn't work out and I kept like praying like hey this should have worked out so why didn't it um, and then back in September I'm like driving Mylan to the emergency room at you know like one in the morning 
And I look over at him and he's like really not doing good. Not even a little. And we're pulling into the, the parking lot of the emergency room and I'm like, you know, I don't know what this is right now. Um, but if I had to guess, this is the reason that that store didn't work out. Um, so I don't know why that struck me tonight. I think it's probably the scones. I was like making these scones, um, cause that was what I'd wanted to offer in my store. Anyway, uh, it's funny how, you know, we, we can make all the plans we want, right? We make plans for days, but, uh, they're not gonna work out if that's not what God has in, in store for you. Um, so while scones are delicious, um, they're not, they're not my dream anymore. <laughs> I did make them today though, and they were so good. So let me tell you how I made them. So the other day, you guys know, because I told you already, the other day I made pita bread and it was so good. And I was like, how come I've not been making pita bread this whole entire time? Pita bread is delicious. And, uh. <laughs> and um, as I'm like rolling it and cooking it, Mylon looks at me, this was a couple days ago, and he's like, you know, I bet we could fry these and they would taste like scones. And I was like, no way. But the more I thought about it, the more I was like, uh, yeah, I bet he's right. So I made more pitas to go with our dinner tonight. And I quadrupled the recipe because heck, heck, why not? You know, have, why not have some extra pitas laying around? Um, so, one recipe makes eight pitas. So, I made 32 pitas. And I, um, I did the first 16 I made into pitas. And then the second 16 I fried <laughs> into fry bread or scones. And they were so good. Um, and I kind of regret doing that because it's going to be something I always want. You know, it's one of those things where it's like, ooh, that was actually amazing. Um, and I don't love frying. I've got seven kids and like frying is a nightmare because they always want to see it and be like really close. And I'm like, ha ha, if this spills, you're scarred for life. So how about you step back? Um, anyway, I'm being a little silly tonight. Um, but the things I am thankful for today. I am thankful for fry bread. I'm thankful uh, for dreams that don't always come true the way we, they want, we want them to. Uh, life, life takes, life has its own, you know, there's, there's, our plans can, we can plan all we want and it doesn't mean a thing. That's all I'm going to say about that. And I'm thankful for that because, um, because my plans for me are not going to be as great as God's plans for me. So, while um, I'm still struggling every single day with, um, with what my life looks like right now compared to what I'd wanted it to look like a year ago, um, I am thankful every single day for, uh, for the plans that Heavenly Father has for me. <laughs> and I'm thankful for scones and pita bread because they're yummy. 